Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashallah, Koholo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chachadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. The body spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachlan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. And actually, it's just going to be a repost, you know, out uh, at the plantation driving right now. I mean, by the spirit, I can, you know, uh, you know, may speak on it, but it, it, it speaks for itself. And this is Brother Malcolm up from out in um, the GMS Chicago camp, the um, elder out there. And um, he, you know, he said it all. And it's really just a short clip of um, a news story and, you know, really some real footage of what's somewhat of some you know somewhat of what's going on with the russia ukraine thing so this you know this india guy you know he, he cuts into him he goes in man so let, let's get some of this i'm just gonna play his video i think it's like 11 minutes long it won't be a long lesson at all but like i said he he gives it all the justice it needs by the spirit i think okay so let's go First Corinthians 4, 5. Therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts. And then shall every man have praise of God. And heart there in that scripture meaning mind, the counsels of the minds, these hidden counsels, these secrets. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakhadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors to the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird among the heathen that look like the heathens. And to the aquaf that are listening and learning. To you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm. Uh, from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming into another lesson. And um, this won't be long, just straight to the point. Um, I watched this video that you're looking at on the screen. Uh, Sunday, I watched it on TV, actually. It was uh, Sunday Morning Futures with Maria Bartiromo, 4-10-22. Today, Fox Breaking News, April 10-22. And I wrote it down and I typed it in exactly as it is, and these popped up. Problem is, is the content was so condemning to the Biden administration and that the people on YouTube clearly are sided with the, the right and not the left. You know, they're all against each other, you know, this whole democratic and rat Republican thing. But um, this is to show you how divided and torn Esau Edom is, but they made both videos three seconds long. So they didn't want people to hear this information. They click clearly, and YouTube has the power to do that. If we go down the list here, you can see the videos that they do that to. Some of these videos, then all of a sudden, this was nine seconds. So it makes me wonder, what does she say? Oh, well, there it is. Federal investigation on Hunter Biden is only nine seconds long. All right? And that one's five you know, minutes, I guess. The, let's see. Yeah, so some of these things are completely controlled when it comes to time, the uh, the content. And this was, of course, talking about the impact of President Biden's policies and his son, both from that same day, and they both were stripped down to uh, only three seconds long. And what she did was talk about was the Biden Hunter's, uh, Biden, uh, uh, Hunter Biden's, I said it backwards, Hunter Biden's, uh, um, his, his, a laptop, his computer, and what was on it, and you know, and his and his father's connections to the bio labs in in Ukraine, and they don't want that talked about because every story you turn on, for the most part, in the West is, you know, Russia is the most horrible people, and Putin is just, you know, and the poor Ukrainians, and you know, there's always this, uh, another side to it, you know, there's always his story, you know. Uh, her story and then the truth all right but uh let me grab another quick scripture this is uh luke 8 and 17. 
and it reads, For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be made known and come abroad. So all this is going to come out. You know, this controlling the narrative that, you know, Russia is just these big bad bullies that are just murdering people and children. And, you know, and, and, you know, and America's done that quite a bit. You know, all you got to do is just go back to, to, to the invasion of uh, uh, Iraq. And, and that's just one of many places. And, and a million civilians died, women and children, at the, at, the, uh, at the hands of American, American mercenaries. Guns, bombs, grenades, you know, that democracy grenade that they always throw. So when they bring democracy, destruction comes with it, all right? You can't say democracy without saying grenade right behind it. The two go hand in hand. But uh, let's... Uh, get to a source of information that's still up, that's still around, all right? Um, and I'll play this for you. Let me bring it in, the, there we go. Um, you're accusing NATO of being weak? What is India doing? I should only respond to you very briefly to your unnecessary attack on India. I do not understand anymore, and it's becoming frustrating that any discussion regarding this war becomes a discussion on India. Well, I will say it one more time to you, Tav. India is going to take care of India. India is going to look after India's interests. And our economy is growing three times the pace or four times the pace of the American economy. More and more Americans are living under the poverty line. They are not able to make ends meet. Right? And more and more Indians are rising economically. And please, we, this is not our war. Dove, you are the ones with the bio labs in Ukraine. You are the uh -huh. ones, you know, Joe Biden's sons was doing all kinds of business in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. You were vested in Ukraine. You were pushing Ukraine. You were encouraging Ukraine. And yesterday, your president went and said, listen, Zelensky, if you want to give up territory, it's your choice. Listen, Zelensky, if you want to break up your country and give a little bit of it to Russia, it's your choice. You have hung the Ukrainians out to try, Dove, and how dare you question India all the time? You hung them out to try. You're, you're just saying, wrong. you're just saying, go We've fight for the last over Ukraine. Over two and a half billion dollars of, ass of assistance. How much have you guys given? The, the whole world considers Mr. We've given humanitarian aid. It's your war. It's your war. We'd rather attention. get the food than weapons. By giving them weapons, you are driving them further down into greater difficulty. Biden is begging the Venezuelans to give him a little bit of extra oil, but he says that India is on shaky ground. <laughs> America fled for Afghanistan with an incompetence exhibited in frightening pictures of Afghans hanging on to the wheels of their transport aircraft. But he says, no, India is being shaky Damn. about Ukraine. This is his war. He so, like he said, it's his war. Why are you looking for the uh, uh, India to give two billion dollars you know this is his war all right but hey it's it's the the information is out there so you know uh the west wants to control the narrative and just give a one-sided because every time you watch it it's just this one-sided even in chicago on the bus stops and everywhere you know it's all about ukraine 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 help these ukrainian children but yet you know americans has called so many children to starve and so many people to be in poverty but you know those were people of color Melanated, often Israelites, and some of the, and some of the other heathens too, and they just didn't matter though. It was okay, but all of a sudden, you know, uh, they care about the Ukrainian children, and I can only imagine the children are getting trafficked, and then the money that's going over there is never really making it to the people. Just the same thing that was done in Haiti and every damn where else. They sent aid to you. Find out about you know sex trade and all kind of madness, and and then people getting filthy rich because people are sending money, and the money's never making it to the people. Yeah, you know, this is a typical uh, American uh, bullshit from these uh, politicians who don't really care about people at all. You know, all they care about is being in office so that they can control policy and control things, you know. But uh, let's get a, another scripture, and, you know, wrap this thing up. I'm going to get a Isaiah. Nine and uh, fifteen, I believe it's fifteen. 
And then uh, Isaiah 29 and 15, and it reads, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel. So the way they, you know, try to cover this up and made these videos that are talking about Hunter Biden or Biden and what's going on. They made these videos only three seconds long when these were whole stories that were like, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, stories that were, you know, five, six minutes long, you know, and uh, 10 minutes long or whatever. And all of a sudden, they're only three seconds long. Uh, this says, woe to them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us? Who knoweth us? So it, it's known, man. You know, you, you're cold busted. You, you're, you're over. You know, every all your lies have been exposed. You know, you weaponizing the Bible um, against the people that it was actually written for, you know, um, and using it against them. You know, just 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 your history, you, it just everything is just with this place is a lie. You know, everything. But um, description, my let's just read this. It's uh, Lamentations four and twenty one, <coughs> and it reads: Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz cup also shall pass through unto thee and thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked you're being seen you're being made naked you're going to drink that cup that cup is a cup of slavery oppression you know and it's going to be way more than what you handed out and what you handed out was brutal all right the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished O daughter of zion he will no more carry thee away into captivity so i have captivity and been under your foot under your rules, under your a corrupt, crooked law system, under your corrupt system of things, it's this is it. This is it's the end of it, and and it, and it's falling, literally before your face. And he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So you got to be put on blast before the whole world. You know, as much as you want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, condemn and demonize uh, men like myself, the prophets of the Lord, it's all going to backfire on you. Because eventually you're going to, you know, use your technology and, and splice videos together and, you know, whatever. And you're going to demonize us and lie and whatever. But it's all going to backfire on you. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Karkadash, Wa Aba Baba, Kwam Yasharan, Shalom. Okay, and see, there you have it, man. I may have to pull that news clip up, though, because I missed that. But, hey. This is not the first time that India, um, India has gone in on no man. That that guy don't be playing no games. He's just straight becoming with the truth. But when it comes to America, you they give you their side of the story. It's just all propaganda. They give you what the information that they want you to know, and and anything other than that, they'll call misinformation and all this other crap. You know what I'm saying? But don't these other leaders? They know what's going on. They're firsthand at these these meetings, man. UN meetings, their G20 summit meetings, and you don't think that these countries are being briefed on what's going on around the world. It's just that you have, uh, you know, uh, state-sanctioned um, news networks, so to speak, or you know, the governments of these countries. They allow what they want to um, go out as far as information on it. You know, you see, because Russia was even, I think talking of um i'm finding uh wikipedia or somebody or getting rid of them or you know because of the, the the false information as far as what they was putting out as far as their news or what they wanted to you know so hey it is what it is man when it comes straight down to it but the thing of it is is america is starting to be seen for who they really are and and mainly not just america but the so-called white man esau edom that's their biblical name they're starting to be called out their skirt is starting to be lifted up like the scripture that the elder brought out. You know what I'm saying? They can no longer hide who they are anymore because people know. All the wickedness is coming up from their slave past and, you know, they don't want to teach critical race theory. You know, you have that January 6th crap going on where they stormed the Capitol. I mean, it's just all kinds of stuff that's just being, they're just being torn apart. And of course, the place is so divided, even among, you know, not just in the Americas, but just Esau Edom, the so-called white man in general. They're, they're, even their um, America's allies are, you know, fighting against them. 
citizens fighting against them. And that's all these European countries. The people, you have uproars of the people, sedition of men. These people don't want to listen to their governments no more. They, they don't trust the governments no more. So, and they're fast pacing that, 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 that Revelation 13, 16, that grain of rice they want to put into people, man. They're fast tracking it because the scripture says they know that they have but a short time. They full steam ahead. You you just seeing stories that you never would have saw before just straight blatantly forward on, on, on national TV. They're saying stuff that they never used to say before. So we're definitely living in the last of days, man. It's just high time that our people wake up. You know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites. And all this stuff is going on actually on your behalf because the Lord is coming for his children he's coming for the elect of israel which are you so-called blacks hispanics native americans haitians jamaicans latinos mexicans cubans and whatever else name that the uh the so-called white man that when he colonized us he gave us because those are not our names those are bywords and that's in deuteronomy chapter 28 the curses that we're currently under but though hey, well, our punishment is almost up but you want to be on the right side of things, man. And, and, and first off, you have to know the true name of the father, which is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. The true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew and that our Lord is not some white guy. They even done that. See, all that stuff is starting to come out, too, that they whitewash the way that the Lord really looked. They know full well the scripture says that he's a dark, melanated man with woolly hair and a deep voice. But what do they give you? They push white Jesus on the people for damn near a millennium, man. And a lot of our people believe, really believe that their Lord is a so-called white guy. The same guy that raped, rod, pillaged, castrated, and, and hung, burned, you know, taking Jake's skin off his, off his back and making purses and shoes and wallets out of it. And they believe that the same people that done that to him is their gods their lords the lord and the lord not dealing with that man that's idolatry people about to go out here right now they're doing their they're they about to do the easter egg thing with that crap a bunch of idolatry with white jesus and and and, and that's just watch jake jake is heavy into these wicked ass holidays wicked ass christmas with white jesus santa why all these these holidays are wicked as hell man but jake about to be out here Sunday up can't wait till the weather get warm so they can actually get out here uh, throw the babies on their little little cute little cute uh 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 short sets and, and whatever sandals or whatever out shopping for got going out spending all kinds of money on food and dinner and inviting everybody over all in the name of sweet white baby jesus which is an idol man so it's high time to awake out of sleep man according to romans 13 and 11 and that um, hey, it's high time to come out of this darkness. So you have to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. And 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 again, you Edomites, y'all going? Hey, you you Edomites, even them damn Indians. That was he, the guy that was just talking all that crap. These Hamites, these so-called Chinese, Japanese, all of them going into slavery in the kingdom. All of them are going to be under us, like we're underneath them right now. That is going to be a role play reversal, man. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all better get your head on the, on right, man, because the Lord is, is making moves, and it's moving fast, man. You only got World War III left and, and, and that grain of rice they want to put in you, and those two are the last main prophecies to come to pass. We about out of here. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.